Mouse Bites for July 31st, 2017. And first things first, we are starting at Epcot, where we're seeing massive changes that are going to be coming. But the first change for Epcot is, of course, Mission Space. Now, Disney has officially announced that Mission Space will be relaunching beginning August 13th with a brand new green mission, as well as an enhanced version of the orange mission. So for those of you who don't know, the Orange Mission will continue to let guests feel the forces of actual space launch um, en route to Mars, where they'll dodge meteoroids, slingshot around the moon, and attempt to land on the Red Planet. Uh, the difference is this new enhanced version will be enhanced by HD video uh, to make it all the more clear, or as I like to say, make you want to maybe throw up a little bit more. Um, just for those who don't know, uh, Mission Space Orange they do have barf bags in there for a reason. Just saying it has made a few people sick. Um, however, for those of you who do get a little sick, motion sickness, uh, they have a, they will have a family friendly version in the green mission. And the green mission will take guests on an exciting orbit around Earth. So on this new adventure, you'll get to take in sites like the Hawaiian Islands, Italy's boot, and the Northern Lights. Of course, all as seen from space, uh, before finally landing at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, which I think is a really cool touch. So that's exciting. I can't wait to experience the new mission. In addition, this new attraction is now going to be more family friendly as younger astronauts can now ride because the height requirement will be changed on the green mission side with the addition of new X2 booster seats. This will allow children from uh, 40 to 44 inches be able to ride the ride. Uh, the orange mission will still be 44 inches, but uh, the green mission will now be 40 inches. So that's exciting news, right? Now we're going to move over to Disney's Hollywood Studios, where there are some big changes. Um, if you've seen around the Muppet area, uh, you may have seen that Disney left up a few buildings that were on the streets of America. And we all wondered kind of what was going to happen with the, these buildings. Well, uh, this fall, adjacent to the Muppet Courtyard, uh, there will be a new area called Grand Avenue. And this will be inspired by down, present-day downtown Los Angeles. And Grand Avenue will capture the spirit of the city with facades of trendy shops, lofts, restaurants, and other businesses utilizing former office buildings and warehouses that can have been converted over the last couple of decades. It's the whole theme behind the new Grand Avenue. Uh, recently, as part of this transformation, you may have seen that the theater that houses Muppet Vision 3D was recently renamed as the Grand Arts Theater and was given a brand new marquee uh, inspired by a restored movie palace. Well, in addition to this, guests will also be able to experience a brand new food and beverage location called Baseline Tap House. This will open this fall, and California Craft Ales, Lagers and Ciders, California Wines on Tap, and Specialty Cocktails will be the star of the show on the drink menu. Uh, there will also be non-alcoholic um, gourmet lemonades as well as soda on tap. Uh, the restaurant will also, also feature small bites, including Bavarian pretzel with cream uh, with mustard and beer cheese fondue, yum, spiced almonds, or a charcuterie board featuring California cheeses. Uh, for those of you who may remember the writer's stop in its final iteration, they did offer something very similar, and that would make sense because the uh, restaurant, the lounge, will be located in the former writer's stop location. Moving over to Disney's Animal Kingdom, starting October 1st, guests will be able to meet their favorite meerkat, Timon. Um, however, with the addition of Timon, we will unfortunately have to say goodbye to Tarzan, and his final greeting day with guests will take place on September 30th. Also at Disney's Animal Kingdom, the local foods cafe, which is the quick center, uh, quick service location at Yak and Yeti restaurant will now be offering breakfast in addition to lunch and dinner. The new menu includes a variety of meat and egg sandwiches, a breakfast burrito, as well as breakfast tacos. Breakfast will be served from 9 a.m. in the morning until 10.30 a.m. daily. At the Magic Kingdom, a Pirates Adventure Treasure of Treasures of the Seven Seas in Adventureland will now be available for guests to enjoy only from 12 o'clock p.m. until 6 o'clock p.m. daily. So if you want to take advantage of this really unique experience that takes place at the Magic Kingdom, uh, you're going to have a shorter window in order to be able to do so. But it's fun for the kids. So if you've got little ones in tow, they might really enjoy this, and the adults might enjoy it as well. Uh, it's a fun little scavenger hunt kind of thing around uh, uh, the Magic Kingdom's Adventureland. 
Over at Disney Springs, the dress shop uh, is back at Cherry Tree Lane in the Marketplace Co-op at Disney Springs. Uh, the dress shop draws inspiration from classic Disney characters and theme park attractions within their clothing, such as Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room, It's a Small World, Minnie Mouse, Snow White, and yes, the Orange Bird. This clothing line is adorable and it does seem to sell out quickly. So if you're going to be down there and you love wearing dresses like I do, uh, then you will want to make sure to check out the dress shop. I unfortunately don't think I'll be probably be able to get another dress because I suspect by the time I get down there again, all the dresses are going to be gone again. So uh, hopefully Disney sees how popular this stop is and they will continue to keep the dresses going uh, in stock. So let's hope. Let's cross our fingers. Also at Disney Springs, on the west side, the United World Soccer uh, store has been rebranded as Pele Soccer. Uh, this soccer retail location offers jerseys from clubs and countries from around the world, footwear, and accessories. Guests staying at a Walt Disney World Resort are now able to use the Disney's online check-in service uh, on the My Disney Experience app. The online check-in service does help to expedite the guest's arrival by enabling guests to start the check-in process up to 60 days before their, uh, their arrival. Then upon arrival, guests can bypass the front desk and head straight to their hotel room, unlocking their room by using the magic band that was sent to them prior to their arrival. Um, through the online check-in process, guests can make room requests, add credit card information, and authorize charges, submit an estimated arrival time to help with prompt room access, um, as well as receive notifications when their room is ready, and more. Guests can access the online check-in service by downloading the latest version of the My Disney Experience app, which is now available in the App Store for iOS devices and the Google Play Store for Android devices. Finally, the merchandise side of the Market and Ale Compass is now open at Disney's Yacht Club. Uh, in this new location, guests will be able to find a variety of clothing, including Lily Pulitzer and Tommy Bahama, souvenirs, snacks, and beverages, and more. The Market at Ale and Compass is open daily from 6 a.m. until 11.30 p.m. So, that's going to do it for all the news I have for you today. Make sure to follow along with The Mouse for Less on all of our social sites. So you've got Twitter, you've got Facebook, you've got Instagram, you've got YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And otherwise, we're going to see you the next time on The Mouse Bites.